Oh man, this has got to be like the biggest briefing I have ever seen in a long time. What's up everybody, Dread back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Ready or Not because they just released briefing number 60, Ongoing Development Process. It starts out by saying, special PSA regarding Ron's ongoing development process. Attention officers, thank you for joining us for the 60th edition of our bi-weekly newsletter. Today, we have some important details to cover in the form of a public service announcement regarding the game's ongoing development process and technical reasons for a lack of a public build updates as many of our departments work effectively towards delivering you all the 1.0 version of the game. Oh, this ought to be good. In this process, we would describe avoiding development crunch, maintaining efficiency and technical perspective that represents the challenge our currently rapid and all enveloping development progress presents for releasing incremental public updates. I mean, wouldn't you be going into crunch if you're saying you want to release at the end of the year at 1.0? I mean, that sounds like crunching to me, but what do I know? Anyways, it's all about forward momentum rather than perpetual early access and we will see this project through to meet you all at its many future successes in a mature complete stage we are incredibly pleased with the progress we've made so far and although we're sorry about the absence of recent incremental public build updates we appreciate you all continuing to stick with us so that these exciting game changes can be released together once 1.0 eventually arrives note the term incremental update refers to a public build that is released as an update in between major milestone development versions of the game. These public builds contrast with development builds of the game, which are not released. As we discuss examples that illustrate this development topic, you will also find substantial new work in progress content throughout this briefing. Sounds cool, but uh, kind of sucks that we've kind of been waiting for almost eight months and we're probably gonna have to wait another four months if they actually do make that time frame. But anyways, all enveloping development progress in you. Ideally, we'd love to provide you our player base with as many public builds to play as possible. However, However, due to our current progress, there are currently interconnected and inseparable changes with doing this based on our status of rapid, all-enveloping game development focus over this period in preparation for the 1.0 release. Example of some such interconnected changes that result from this progress are outlined in the section below. The main point is that we are in extremely rapid development of many different interdependent systems across the game, and to ship an incremental update would require require effectively halting, reverting, and synchronizing fragments of our forward progress at a critical moment winding up to the larger 1.0 release. Okay, I don't know if I buy that, but you have me waiting this long. I guess I'm gonna wait more. But moving on here to an all-enveloping example. In this hypothetical example, let's say we plan to release a public build as an incremental update that contains the new level Coyote for you all to play. As previously mentioned, we've been working on every single aspect of the game from revamped SWAT AI to be showcased at a later date to extensive UI UX overhauls additions they're not compartmentalized into any group or we can just cleanly export them to a public build in isolation from the rest of the development build features this means that at this stage of development from a technical perspective adding the coyote level would require us to add all these other features in some form first of all we need to provide you with our new AI spawn system and AI improvements this means a lot of polishing subsequently taking time away from our current pre-content lock focus and therefore delaying for release you know i definitely get where they're coming from because whenever developers release incremental build they tend to run into like other problems that they didn't see before because they're you know adding a newer build onto an older build so i definitely get that but at the same time you kind of just break your promise of saying that you want to release builds every other month you know you said that you wanted to do that and then you went back on your promise dude i swear they're still gonna delay it like there's no way they're gonna make this i mean i would be shocked if it happens but ready or not has been notorious for saying they're gonna do something and then they don't make that date that's how it's normally been and i'm just i don't know i guess we'll see this sort of roadblock taking away from our current development priorities a trend for all the remaining bullet points below pre-content lock refers to a point in time where we solidify existing features stop adding new ones and polish them for a new release. I hope that they actually make this because if they don't, I am actually going to be pissed because if they say all this nonsense and then they don't release it at the end of the year, like they said, it's gonna be really awkward. And then they give us a slice of a current work in progress version of the Coyote map. And here's what we got so far. This kind of looks like a house that would probably be on the border. Maybe, not saying I've been down there, but all the dust and all this, actually, I think that's the border right there, right? If I'm not mistaken. This would be to the far south of where California is, if I had to guess. Well, then again, I don't 
don't know if like the full map has been mapped out, but yeah. Wow, these these vehicles right here kind of look uh, very untextured right now. But the rest of it looks pretty good. Maybe this looks a little weird, but it's interesting. We've got quite a few pictures here. This looks to be the interior of the house, as I can tell from the windows that were kind of boarded up right there. Are these logs? This feels very like unfinished to me. I think these logs are un untextured. So this must be like a relatively new map. They're definitely still working on this, but the interior actually looks a lot better better than what i was expecting There's another picture here i'm not sure what this is this kind of looks like it's in like one of those barns just judging by the roofs that are open they look metallic maybe it's this place that's over here or maybe that building that's over there in the background we're seeing the interior of one of these buildings this is definitely different from the house that we saw this looks like a, a kennel or a cage maybe this is where they're keeping the people that they smuggle probably honestly i don't even know what the coyote map is gonna be i just know that it's like a border map so that would probably mean that they're smuggling people into the country or out of the country possibly either way very cool looking map and then underneath this we got another picture of the area where it showed at the very front here this looks like where they're putting all the sounds yeah these up close these cars don't look very textured in at least the back parts but you know they're still working on it actually it says here that it's some of the coyotes work in progress ai points of interest so i'm guessing this is where the ai would be if they come to fight us hiding behind these vehicles and then this is the sounds i assume very cool so is this like a whole area where they would fight us like on the outside i guess so interesting but moving on here we would need to provide you with all our new coyote level characters most of which are still pending character rigging and one or two are still being developed in the art stage if we don't do this we would have to use generic models as placeholders which would create a dull experience without the desired character variety again the way that they sound it feels very like you know you're giving me a lot of reasons as to why you're not going to make that release date like that's what it sounds like to me but yeah let's take a look at these character models so this character is definitely going to be someone that's in the mind job she has the logo right she even has like a little id i guess on her right there i wonder if we could read that oh let's see oh uh, no like the text is too small you have to play it in game to see what it actually looks like but yeah so this looks like someone that would be from mind Jot, which is a, a little weird that a female would be there given the lore implications maybe she's just oblivious to what's actually going on or maybe she knows about it hey what do i know maybe she's a civilian imagine if she like takes up arms like oh my goodness i would be shocked we got another one here I have no idea where this could possibly be. Maybe the carriers of the vine. I'm just guessing by the flowers that are hanging off the belt. Also, does this one have like black veins coming through her or is that just drawings veins vine very interesting is this person gonna be a uh a suspect or is this just some person we're gonna find that's gonna be crazy when we get to this person what the heck and then we got another one here i don't know where this one would be if i had to guess probably the neon nightclub maybe maybe i, I don't know or it could be the school level possibly i'm not really sure where i would place this definitely not the crack house and then we got another swat officer that's a work in progress maybe Maybe this is that one asian guy that they never brought back from the alpha not too sure but i definitely cannot wait to see all these guys in game and yes it says here that these are new character models for various levels wait is this going to be a character model that's in a level or is this actually going to be a new character model that we're able to play as is it going to be a static swat officer hmm curious but moving on here we also need to provide you with the new quantum sound system without audio would not properly work in the public build we need to provide a new level solution select system and they show that off here these are all of the missions and i like how they're actually showing a drone view of like every mission now that's pretty cool i like that a lot and this is of course the brand new revamped caesar car dealership which we can actually read the description there with the impetus to now crack down on mobsters operating in los Unas, lspd raids a suspected trafficking exchange point in north hills exercise extreme caution Ooh. oh and now they're putting two entry points oh back alley and streets interesting that was not a thing before or if it is i don't remember but yeah look at the freaking missions we have on the left here let's see sins of the father which i think is new i'm not too sure what that is a lethal obsession which is that um cottage in the woods map with the half naked guy that former agent sinuous trail is my jot beachfront test i assume this is another new map i've never heard of this one might be something that we'll discuss later in this newsletter grease palms is that male place valley of the dolls is the one that we don't want to talk about elephant from what i understand is the school level the school shooting level unusual told me that it's a movie from 2003 called elephant which basically has to do with you know school shooting 
Coyote we just talked about. I don't know how to say this. Is it Ides of March? Why can't these just be simple names? Which is Brisbane Cove or the uh, penthouse map. None of these maps can ever have one name like Jesus. Then we got the Neon Tomb, which is literally dense to your dead. Buy cheap, buy twice, which is this map. The dealership, Carriers of the Vine. This is the wine map. Curious to see what this one looks like because they turned it from a night map to a day map, but they haven't exactly finished it. Relapse is the hospital map. Hide and seek is Port Hoken. And uh, yeah, at the bottom here, it says Losuna. Welcome to the city of Losunas, city of dreams. Select the mission. Good luck. Yada, yada, yada. This is the most updated version build. And one thing that I definitely notice about this is that some of these missions are locked. So this must be like the campaign mission where you have to unlock certain missions to get to these missions. But the thing that kind of confuses me is why are these like out of order? Like I feel like the lock one should be at the bottom, not at the top. And there's obviously a freaking thing on the left here where you could scroll up. Unless I'm mistaken, why are these locked things kind of like in the middle? Just got a lot of information from one freaking picture. Jesus. All right, well, moving on from that. We need to provide you with the new customization system, weapon select system, station lobby, audio tracks, and items that are tied to each system. Many of these are still in the later stages of development, yet they are by no means ready for a public build. Now they're going to show us a couple of areas of the new police station with these two pictures. Let's see. So this is what the front looks like, huh? Before it was going to be like a whole train station, but it looks like they completely scrapped that idea for a much more California government looking building so that's interesting we're going to be able to just walk out here and do what exactly just screw around i've heard talks where people said that it's possible that these guys are going to raid the station like why would they open this up like this right this could be a mission that would definitely be interesting all right there's another picture here which shows the evidence room uh i really hope that when we finish up missions it actually fills up this area that would be so cool so we could go back and look at all the case forms and stuff it's pretty cool furthermore we need to provide a briefing menu interactive tablet briefs for each level with voice acting maps and media details and they have a tablet view of a new map a new map you say hmm what map could this possibly be I can't really read this maybe this is that beach map that they were talking about or maybe it's um that one streamer looking map this kind of looks like it but i don't know but it's definitely interesting what is this room is this like judge's office or something got a shredder a bunch of boxes filing cabinets in the back that aren't actually pushed in all the way look at the shredders not even freaking all the way working here what are they shredding are we gonna be able to read that there are people that are looking through the lore are gonna find that interesting Let me on to the next thing next we'd like to revert all the changes specific to this development build and then fix any issues related to linking old systems with new systems eg all the new ui code gets reverted but code that has already been written for that purpose in other areas also has to be written and fixed lastly we would need to then spend at least several weeks ensuring a solid quality assurance pass has occurred testing an ad hoc game build that will be almost entirely different from its intended proper state in 1.0 further meaning and forward momentum releasing incremental updates during this phase of development cycle is like tearing down a house rebuilding it halfway with improvised parts furnishing it and then tearing most of it down again to rebuild the final largely different house that we are working towards releasing updates when this massive interdependent is going on creates an unsustainable strain on the team effectively causing us to crunch and redo old work just to release an update our goal is to release a strong product that we can continue Continue to update post 1.0 making sure our team is effective loving what they are doing and love what they are working towards it's something we see as critical to our process that's important and we're doing it with the technical limitations for public builds and momentum in mind our ultimate goal is providing you all with a complete experience that will enhance the game's quality replayability and will naturally keep you coming back for more as we push new updates post 1.0 in conclusion we have tons of great content and fixes in store for you all but we hope this briefing paints a better picture of the technical limitations for why we cannot release it in incremental public builds while we were expanding every area of the game towards the 1.0 release to the end of early access before we go now here's a glimpse at a new level with the image below a beachfront home where the events that may take place contrast the pleasing cosmetic view of a distant pier and rolling waves okay, and then we got a picture here uh yeah this is definitely that beachfront that they we're talking about I'm curious to know what this one's all about but yeah this concludes our 60th development briefing be sure to tune in next time for more development news yeah this is definitely one of the biggest briefings and like most info that we've seen in a hot minute but i feel like this is kind of like a reaction to a lot of people complaining that you know we haven't had an update since 
what was it, January of this year? It's been like almost eight months, going on nine now. They say that they don't want to do crunch, but at the same time, if they're trying to meet a deadline that's within like, what, four months? And they're giving us like a lot of stuff that they're going to need to do within a certain time frame. It sounds like crunch to me. And they have to do a lot. I mean, they still need to add the campaign, multiplayer, a bunch of new maps, revamp a bunch of other maps, add in a bunch of game modes for like almost every other map, add in the new customization and the lobby. It's just a lot of stuff that I feel like they're probably not going to finish within these next four months. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe Void Interactive is ahead and we're none the wiser. I appreciate this newsletter, but I kind of wish they would give us something to do because I haven't played the game for a few months, you know. Mods are cool and all, but I kind of just want to, you know, play the main game. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Really cool newsletter, but what do you guys think? Let me know what you think down below. Because I'm going to get the heck up out of here. Thank you all for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye I would just like to take the time to thank my amazing supporters. Starting off with Fear Operative, Brigador24, Divine Demigod, Hazel, True Forever, Iggy. If you're someone that would like to join this list, become a member or join the Patreon to keep the channel going. Thank you all for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye